thank you for joining me. This is John Newby with John 2020 Apologetics, and I'm continuing my video series of archaeology in the Bible. And this is a massive, massive find. Massive find. So what we're looking at here is the Mount of Ball Curse Tablet. Okay, and we're going to listen to Scott Stripling here, an archaeologist, in a moment. This was found in 2019. He actually found this by sifting through remains that were left over. And this is from Deuteronomy 27 and Joshua 8. And this is where they talk about being cursed by Yahweh. And this tablet is literally being compared to maybe the greatest find up with the Dead Sea Scrolls. And why this is so important, because this is strong evidence that the Jews were in Israel during the time of the late Bronze Age which is believed by us Christians and Jews. And of course the scripture teaches this. But, but you know, the skeptics don't believe this to be true. But now they must deal with this evidence. This also shows that the ancient Jews had the alphabet, something not, also not believed by skeptics at this time. And of course, this is a, an account of what occurred in this area according to the Bible. So someone chiseled this in an iron tablet, believing it to be a historical event this comes from the time of Moses, who we believe wrote the Pentateuch, and the skeptics don't. And it shows that the Hebrew alphabet was available and used by the Jews in this region at the time, which all lines up with the Bible. When skeptics have argued, it does not. And of course, the Bible wins again. And inside the contents of this iron tablet, it reads, Cursed, cursed, cursed. Cursed by God, Yahweh. You will die cursed. Cursed, you will die, surely die. Cursed by Yahweh. Cursed, cursed, and cursed. Now, you're going to listen to Scott Stripling talk about the how wonderful of a great find this is for the church and for the authority and authentication of our scripture and how it's been handed down correctly and accordingly for us to read and how it uh, has been passed down and translated correctly. Thank you for listening. God bless you in Jesus' name. I immediately recognized what we had. We call this a defixio or a cursed tablet because many of these are, are known. We know what they are. Frankie recognized it, I recognized it, and uh, Abigail Levitt, who was the assistant director there with me, we all knew that we had a cursed tablet from the site of the curse mentioned in the Bible. So this was terribly exciting. We could see there were glyptic markings on the outside, but of course we didn't know if we would be able to recover those markings my first thought was that one can't scan through lead when they give you x-rays you go to the doctor they always put this lead on you and i'm thinking how are we ever going to be able to scan through this but uh, we ultimately were able to find a, a lab in prague that had expertise uh, thousands of scans were done on the the tablet in two different settings so that then with extensive post-processing of those images we were finally able to begin to see letters emerge now on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a 10. Um, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Um, we talk about verisimilitude or a consistency between what we read in a text and what we find in the material culture, that correlation. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. This is what, you, if the text were true, this is what you would anticipate finding, and indeed it is what